Hey guys, how you doing? It's HexDSL. Hello there. And today I wanted to show you guys a website that um, someone in the group, Nusui, uh, actually pointed me towards, which I was blown away by the concept, <laughs> if not the website itself. Um, so the concept is Learn Vim, the text editor, um, by playing a video game. Essentially, they've built this website that um, is, is, is a whole video game, but using Vim key bindings. So it will teach you the basics of Vim as you play the game. So then you, you play the game, you look at Vim, and you're like, oh, I understand all this. It's just like the game. Um, which is probably the best way to learn anything. I mean, like, I know people are big fans of using comic books in training, like using like the idea of a comic book to 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 like put a lot of information in your head fast. For a video game, I mean that that's yeah. I'm again not massively new. The influence game did it with language. I shouldn't be shocked that it's something like Vim has got it. But it just never occurred to me that it would be a thing. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm glad it is. Now this particular one has got some issues. I wonder if there's more I haven't found like free ones or open source versions of this. But uh, this one does have a license for $25. So after you play for a while, it then asks you for money, I think. Um, you only get six months six months access to the adventures. Uh, so yeah, I think you probably only get the first level for free. I haven't actually finished it. I was just sort of blown away with the concept. Um, <clears throat> yeah, $25 does seem steep, but um, I still think it's worth looking at this from the point of view of, wow, what an interesting way to learn, to learn a text editor. So uh, how does it work? Well... You uh you uh you simply use the uh the keyboard row, you know the the single navigation row to to move around and then you start adding concepts in as you go in. So hooray! I can't believe the shadowy cursor has come for me. The prophecy is complete. Yeah, we're going here now. Oh, we go here. This, oh, can we can we skip that and go this way? Yeah, we can. Um, and, and I we don't want to talk to her. She tells us about words. Uh, so you can go this way now. Yay! Again, just using like H R L. K and J to navigate, um, which is yeah. I've always, I've always just used arrow keys because they're right there on my keyboard. We've had a sixty percent. It'd be good to know. Yay! The navigate capital words to navigate words. Okay, we can. I'm sure that'll make more sense later. But we really want this key here. Look. Uh, see again, the map. It seems like like busy work going through this map. But uh, if you don't know how to use like sort of the single row navigation. Um, I would think it'd be uh, it'd be very good, and you would quickly start getting your head around it. Um, I mean, I'm like I say, I don't even use it. And within a couple of minutes, I look at the game. I was sort of well into the swing of it. And this one here, look, it just explains. Look, moving up or down. Basically, what this explains is if you um if you uh if you move to the end line and move down, it jumps to the the previous line, like the previous like point in the cursor. So if each one of these tiles represents one character. Obviously, it's hammering home what happens there. Yeah, yeah, we we used it to we used the magic to skip to skip the puzzle. It's, wow, see, learning already. Um, I hopefully there's there's no uh, there's no there's not going to be any surprise puzzles in a. Uh, oh, there, there you go. Hopefully, there's not going to be a surprise puzzle in actual Vim when we use it. Um, that would suck. I mean, it doesn't block your cursor at any point in Vim. Yay! There we go. We got to the dude. Very good. Press E, press escape to continue. Yay. Jesus Christ, let me get to this bit. But uh, yeah, I uh, I really like the idea of uh, the idea of learning doing this. And that's the point I wanted to hammer home, really. Not that this particular one is particularly amazing. But uh, yeah, I'd really like to sort of find out what other things have got this gamification on the web. Because the fact it's a web program as well, I mean, a web-based application like in a browser, means you can just go to the website and use it. You haven't got to install software. There's like zero barrier to entry. Um, which I really liked. Um, so yeah, that was uh, Vim Adventures. And if you guys know a better resource, please put it in the comments because I would love to make some more videos on these sorts of things because I just really am blown away with the concept. And it does take something. I mean, if you load up Vim and just look at it and you go, oh shit, you know, like you look at it and it's just daunting and Emacs as well. You load it and it's totally daunting. So to actually have something gamify that so you can play the game, then load the application and go, oh, it looks daunting, but look, I know all the key bindings, you know. Um, it really helped, especially getting people who don't really see the value in these uh, in these more traditional text editors. Um, say traditional, traditional the right word? Old school? I don't know. But hey, people who don't see the value of things like Vim, VI, Emacs, um, getting them to play the gamification and then getting them to use into it will like take away a lot of that barrier straight away. And I think you might get more people jumping onto these classical editors. So yeah, just something I thought was really interesting. Thank you, Nisui, for pointing it out. And again... Throw in the comments if you know more stuff because I'd love to see more of these. I've been Hex. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.